Hey there, come on in. Are you ready to have some fun today? Join us, let's jump in. One, two, three, let's go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in and join us. Come on in and join us. We'll learn a lot today. We'll sing, learn, have lots of fun. There's something special for everyone. We'll learn a lot today. Let's go! Happy New Year, my friends! <laughs> it's me, Mr. Pete. Welcome to Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Well, our New Year celebration has already passed, but in China, their New Year celebration is just beginning. It is the most important and significant time of the year in China. It is a time where families get together with food and celebrations and enjoy seeing their families together again. Each year of the Chinese New Year is represented by a different animal, like the goat or the rabbit or the rat or the monkey. <laughs> but this year, it is the year of the tiger. Rawr! <laughs> On the 15th day of the celebration is the Lantern Festival. It is where houses and streets are lit up with beautiful colorful lanterns, mostly red lanterns. Red because red is one of the most important colors in the Chinese culture. Red means joy and happiness and good luck. That's why it's my favorite color. <laughs> Today, we are going to make our very own version of the Chinese lantern with our paper lanterns. Are you ready to celebrate the Chinese New Year with our paper lanterns? Great, then let's go! <laughs> Get your supplies ready for Mr. Pete's projects. Today, we are going to be making Chinese lanterns to celebrate the Lunar Lantern Festival. The materials that you will need are glue or tape, two pieces of construction paper, and a safe scissors. Let's get started. The first thing we'll do is use the paper that will be the inside of the lantern, and you're going to fold at the top of it. Just a small fold all the way across. Make sure that it is a straight line or as straight as it can be. <laughs> this is going to be used as the handle for your lantern, just like this. Then you're going to cut this strip out. Great, so now you should have your strip that you cut from the paper that's going to be used as the inside of your lantern. Let's put these to the side. Now take your other paper and fold it hot dog style. Remember, hot dog hamburger, hot dog hamburger. <laughs> so this is hamburger, this is hot dog. Okay, long ways, hot dog style. Next, you're going to draw a straight line going across the top of your paper. Make sure that you are using the parts that's open, not the bottom that's closed, okay? And draw a straight line straight across. If you need to, you can use your strip to measure while you draw the line straight across. Great! So this line is going to be able to help you to use it as a stopping point when you are cutting your strips all the way up, okay? Now we are going to cut strips all the way across, going all the way up, and this line is going to be used as your stopping point, okay? So you're gonna cut all the way up and stop. Cut all the way up and stop. Cut all the way up and stop. And you do that all the way across, cutting strips all the way up and stop at the line, okay? Let's cut. So you should be cutting thin strips all the way up. Great job. So now your paper should look like this. <laughs> Frills going all the way across. <laughs> 
So when you open it, whoa, how cool is that? <laughs> All right, now we're going to take our first paper, the inside paper, and we're going to take our paper that we cut, which is the outside paper, and we're going to glue them together, okay? So the first thing you will do is take your inside paper and you're going to make kind of like a cylinder shape and you're going to glue it together like this. Whoa, not like that. <laughs> you're going to glue it together like this so it stays together like a cylinder, okay? Again, if you don't have glue, you can use tape, okay? So just put a strip of glue all the way across the top, so a strip of glue right at the top, and then just roll it so that the ends meet just a little bit over, and it should glue and stick together, okay? Now just give it like, let's say a minute or two so that it can dry. All right, now that it's dry, we're gonna put it to the side. Now take the outside paper that you cut your strips and we're going to glue it to the cylinder paper, okay? So you're going to put a line of glue on the top and a line of glue on the bottom, okay? Now here's the fun part. <laughs> well, the whole thing has been fun, right? Right. <laughs> All right, so you're going to take the top of the outside paper and glue it to the top of the inside cylinder paper. All right, so let's do that first. Make sure it's all the way even and go all the way around and glue it all the way around. Again, make sure it's all the way even to the top. And then just press it down so that the two sides meet, the two ends meet. And now you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So make sure that it's even so that it can start pushing up a little bit. You see that? You see how it starts pushing up? Yeah, that's what we want right there. All right, so go all the way around and press down, press down, press down, press down, and... Voila! <laughs> we have our lantern. <laughs> Just do some final touches. Make sure that everything is sticking together and glued together and nothing is coming apart. Give it a little bit more pressing down, pressing down, pressing down, pressing down. And if you see any spots that need a little bit extra glue, just go ahead and glue that in so that we know that it will stay together. All right, so now we're gonna take the strip that we had cut way in the beginning and you're going to glue it to the inside of your lantern so that it can be the handle of your lantern, okay? So we're gonna glue one end to one side and glue the other end to the other side to make a handle. Remember, all you need is one dot, not a lot. So glue one end and then put glue on the outer side of the other end so that it can glue to the other side. Wow, and there you have it my friends, your very own lantern celebrating the Lantern Festival for Chinese New Year. <laughs> Great job! I can't wait to see the lanterns that you create. We'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye! Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, friends. We had so much fun today. Clap your hands, friends. If you can't wait to join us again, see you soon, friends. I'll leave you with a smile. Say farewell, my friends. We'll see you again next time. Remember to always find music in the noise to love yourself and I love you. I'll see you next time on Mr. Pete's Playhouse. Bye! Hi my friends, there's so many ways for you to keep up with me. 
You can find me on Amazon and Roku apps and also follow me on my social media pages like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And now I could sing a special happy birthday song to you with my birthday singograms. Don't forget, you can stream my songs on your favorite music streaming services like Apple Music and Spotify. And also, get your Mr. Pete merch at www.mppmerch.com. See you soon!